Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Belgrade Car Show. Today we are here at the Škoda stand taking a look at the new Octavia Combi. So this is the facelift of the fourth generation and as you can see we have the new styling. Let's start on the front where you can see the new grille and I think it looks very elegant. Then you also see the new lights, so the LED as standard and then the Matrix LEDs as an option, the new second generation Matrix LEDs uh, that have 36 Matrix segments, uh, 12 more than before, so better illumination and also the upcoming traffic is shielded even more. You can also see the new design of the bumper. Look at this aggressive lower section of the bumper and the air inlets are here as well. So a very dynamic look. Tell me in your comments, how do you like this new design uh, and the new front? Now we move on here to the side. Let me show you the wheels. So they go from 16 up to 19 inch ones. And the model in our video has got the 18 inch. So 225, 45 are 18. I quite like this design. You see the gray color here and the silver as well. And uh, moving on to the side, four meters and 69.8 centimeters. It is actually nine millimeters longer than the predecessor because of the changes on the front and rear aprons. Now from the rear, look at this, the gorgeous lights, look at them. So LED as standard and then top LED taillights uh, with the dynamic indicators as well as the animation for the uh, coming and exiting home. So I think this will be really easily recognizable on the road. Beautiful lighting signature here. Also look at those segments in here. Then the new Škoda lettering, uh, which looks very elegant in my opinion. And uh, yeah, well, share your thoughts with me. How do you like the design of the facelifted version? Very clean design here in the lower section for the redesigned bumper. And the rear view camera is here. And now we are ready to explore the trunk. So press this, electric tailgate opens and here we are greeted with huge amount of room as expected from Octavia and uh, you see also here additional room, the spare tire, then the hooks for your shopping bags are here. If you want to fold the seats you can do it here, just pull this and the uh, towing hook is also here. There we go, comes out, you do this. And then if you want to put it back, there we go. This is how you do it. The hooks here as well that are hidden. So uh, you can then just pull them out when you need them. And uh, yeah, well, definitely 10 out of 10 for practicality in this car. Press this to close the tailgate. Let me show you the car from this angle. There we go, and gorgeous lighting signature. So those segments here, I think really, they look amazing. And now uh, we will check out the interior of the car. So let's do another walk around. There we go. And uh, yeah, well, let's check the interior. And we have the revised interior, also with more sustainable materials as well. The key is inside and the ignition is on, so that's why we have the beating. I will go inside in a moment. Let me just show you this. So the great materials here, very nice and soft on touch. Uh, the ambient lights are here. And then the door pocket has got the carpeting inside, which is always nice. You can open the tailgate here. Canton sound system on this particular model. These switches for the windows and the mirrors. And also you see uh, the adjustments for the seat in here. And the seats have the lovely design. And now without further ado, let's see it from driver's perspective. All right, and we start with the wider view and I can tell you it feels so good to sit inside this car. And we have the nice two-spoke steering wheel, digital cockpit, main touchscreen. Now let's change the view and let me explain all the details. All right then, the two-spoke steering wheel on this particular model. We do have the physical buttons, of course. And in front of us, the 10-inch digital cockpit. The digital cockpit is standard on the new Octavia. And then here you have, in this case, the 13-inch touchscreen. The first one for Octavia, so the first time that we see the 13-inch uh, freestanding screen on the Octavia. And then 10-inch would be the standard one. 
I also quite like uh, this trim here. Of course, you can choose between various designs for the interior. And uh, this is so nice, soft on touch. And um, I will go through the new infotainment system in a moment. Let me just show you uh, some other details here before that. So the physical buttons for various shortcuts, including the shortcut for the AC. So press this, you turn it on, and then this is how you adjust the air blower. And here is where you adjust the temperature and the lower section here, as you can see, is always uh, active here. So it's always on the screen and you also have the upper bar as well. Now the air vents are located below those buttons here. You have the USB-C ports, wireless charging pad and the minimalistic gear selector for the DSG automatic transmission. Uh, the cup holders are adjustable. You also have this roller to have the clean design here in the center, the electronic parking brake and the auto hold. Now the middle storage room, as you can see, plenty of room and the armrest can be extended in here. Also, let me show you the glove compartment. So very nice and decent in size. And now we are ready to explore the infotainment system. So you can adjust the widgets here on the home screen, depending on what you use the most. And then here you have sort of like the main menu where you have all of the settings and you can adjust various things. So for example, if we go to assist systems, you see here we have the view and the list of the driver assist systems. Of course, this car is packed with technology. And moving on here, for example, driving profiles, there are actually a few options, eco, comfort, normal, sport, and the individual. Let me actually show you the themes that we have here when I press uh, the various driving modes. And then on the individual, you can configure it out. So you have the DCC, you can adjust, uh, you see how much options you have here really a lot to choose from in terms of the chassis control and then you can also adjust steering drive acc light assistance and air conditioning all right so those were the driving modes and uh, background lighting something that i'm a big fan of you have the moods and those are basically the preset options so winter summer sort of like the yellow then ocean would be like between green and blue. And notice that when you change the uh, ambient light and the mood actually, you change also the uh, layout here. You see now everything is sort of like the green and blue. And uh, actually not settings, let's go to the background lighting. Once again, if we press the race, now this would be a sort of like uh, purple and red. And uh, you can also go for the individual one. So then you can adjust various options. You see here, beautiful ambient lighting also in the doors as well. So tell me in the comments, which one is your favorite? And now we move on to the vehicle settings. And I quite like this view. Then you can adjust various things, uh, both uh, exterior and interior. And you have status, data and everything in here. Start stop off is located here, so just press it. And then also here you have the apps and the air conditioning as well. Heated seats on this model, you can adjust it here also for the passenger. And let me show you also the navigation, press here. So there we go, we are here at the Belgrade car show and uh, this is the city center and uh, you can also adjust uh, different themes including the color so day view and you see you change it here as well back to the map view and then this is your day view but let's put back the automatic one so i think now i covered most of the details here with the new infotainment system and now we are ready actually the radio list and stations there we go and then also the phone connection and now we move on to the digital cockpit so there we go in front of us you can see different views that are available and you can configure it out yourself 
including the uh, navigation view so just a map view you change the views here and then you can also change what you see here in the middle there we go and you can also change what you see on your left and so on your left and on your right as well there are various options so i think a very good infotainment system and very good uh, digital cockpit as well Tell me in the comments which one is your favorite. I think this view would be my personal favorite. And then this is the key. Also, the head-up display is here as well, as you can see. There we go. And the model in our video also has the panoramic sunroof. So we can open it. There we go. And now we can check out the rear bench. So this is how this looks. Tell me in the comments, would you spec the panoramic sunroof? And before we move on, let me also show you the sun visor. There we go. And also for the passengers. So there we go. All right, and now we move on to the rear. And I think uh, we know what we can expect. Skoda Octavia is such a practical car and especially when you go also for the combi but here at the rear both the sedan and combi have huge amount of room as well and uh, this is how it looks so look at the amount of room that i still have for my knees and then you can move uh, you can actually uh, configure the ac in here two usb c ports uh, the storage compartment so the dual storage compartment and uh, also let me show you the middle armrest with the cup holders and also look at this so if you want to sleep you can do this i will show you now uh, how much space i have for my head and i will also show you how that looks and this is how it looks for my head so we do have the panoramic sunroof but still some room left for my head i'm one meter 87 and let me show you how this looks so your head doesn't go all around the place. You can also adjust uh, the height as well, of course, for the headrest. So yeah, very nice and practical and also such a comfortable place to sit here. And now I can also show you the indicators. I've turned them on and you see the dynamic indicators here at the rear, uh, giving it strong appearance really. And now I will also show you how that looks from the front. There we go. So the daytime running LEDs, uh, they turn into indicators and really gorgeous shape with this facelifted version. In terms of powertrains, a lot to choose from. You can go for the four petrol units, two diesels, and then also two mild hybrids. So the 1.5 liter TSI can be equipped with the mild hybrid system. Tell me in the comments, what would be your choice of powertrain for this car? So when you go for the 1.5 liter TSI engine, if you spec the DSG, then you get the mild hybrid engine. So either 115 horsepower or 150 horsepower. And fast forward and we got the spec list for the car in our video. So it is the Octavia Combi facelift and the trim is the selection. So you have the Essence Selection, Sportline and the RS. Those are the trims. Uh, we have the 2 liter TDI with 110 kilowatts here and the 7 speed automatic transmission, uh, so 150 horsepower. Graphite gray is the name of this color. Alright, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye bye.